I mentioned we're back out here at the Susan G. Komen Race for a Cure, and joining me now is Nancy Brinker, Susan G. Komen's sister. Thank you so much, and your son Eric, of course. Thank you. Thank you Thank so much you. for being here. Tell me, tell me about your sister and this organization. And she was a beautiful 33-year-old girl in 1978 when she developed breast cancer. A very different time. No. TV ads, no talking, no branding of breast cancer, no cell phones, um, no internet, no way to communicate with people really. And um, she died just after, just short of 18, 20 months or two years of metastatic disease. And my son was a very little boy then and has been my co survivor since then. But breast cancer is a very different disease today. It's almost 100% curable with very early breast cancer. And thanks to the work of the Susan Coleman, working very hard on the ground since 1981 when we started this organization. Why was it important for you to start this organization? Because I promised my sister that I would do it. Right before she died, she asked me to cure this disease. I thought it was going to be easy. And by day two, I realized how dumb I really was. And the fact is, it wasn't easy. And, and um, your sister was not the only person in your family touched by breast cancer. No, You're a survivor no, as well. Me too. And about four or five years later, I developed the disease as well and was much more fortunate at the time because I've had the advantage of watching her being treated. Um, but I think what is so exciting about today is that we have actually patients with metastatic or more advanced disease living six, five, eight, ten years longer than ever possible before. We never would have seen this 15 years ago. And I have the advantage of having a very long view now of this disease and its progress. And very convinced that we are turning this into a manageable chronic disease and I'm, that's the most exciting news that anything uh, that could happen today in today's world. I agree. Eric, I have to ask uh, you, tell me about the spirit of today. Well, today's amazing because we get to celebrate survivors. We get to celebrate our loved ones. We get to walk with people like our moms and our sisters and our aunts. And for me, it's really special to be here to be able to honor not only my mom, but my aunt and this amazing organization. The work that Susan G. Komen's doing right here in New York City, um, where I live, is, is so amazing to see um, the work and the research being funded and, and the impact that's being made every day. And what would you and say to people who still want to help? Thank you. Thank you so much. This is the 25th year of the New York City race, which is just astonishing. And please come. Please join us. Please keep supporting us. We're very, very close to creating a situation where no one dies of breast cancer. It's amazing. Did you ever think that would happen when you lost your sister? Actually, I, I thought it would take just a few years, and I realized very quickly that I was wrong, very wrong. And it has taken three decades to see our work come to progress and much work before then as well but it's been a very long road and um, but I'm very hopeful extremely hopeful and and want to continue to help as long as I can I want to thank you so much, the thank Bringers, you. for being here. Thank of course, you. obviously, it is because of their family that this uh, run exists, and that's why thousands of people will literally line Central Park West. We're here at West 77 with, of course, the Mobile Weather Lab. 